Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the making of Devious Minds is Tired of Talking music video and some of the, the influences also that went into it. This video was shot in April of 2000, mostly in Topeka, with a little bit uh, of stuff shot in Lawrence too. And it was the first time that any of us had made a music video. Uh, certainly, I uh, was new to this and had just bought uh, my first video camera a few months earlier. It was shot by me and Elliot Reeder and Doug Lerner. It was done on a, a digital 8 camera and a high 8 camera, so some very primitive uh, early cameras. There were no effects used at all. There were no lights. We didn't even have any lights other than Barry had a couple of black lights that he used in his scene. But largely, we were just sort of making it up as we went along. So the concept of the video, it really came from Kiss, you know, I thought the Devious Minds, they reminded me of Kiss, how you had these four really distinct personalities, uh, almost like larger than life superheroes. To me, I wanted to shoot them in separate locations, keep them separate from each other, like the Kiss solo albums. They would be separate from each other. They would have their own unique color scheme. So each guy would have his own color scheme and a really unique look. And then when we would get everyone together for the chorus it would be this amazing you know kind of moment it would be like the super friends or something that's what we tried to do it i don't know that it totally worked that way but that was the concept if they're going to be coming together then in their solo shots they need to be constantly moving constantly coming towards the camera moving towards one another and ultimately forming together. And of course, if there's a Gene Simmons in Devious Minds, it's, it's Barry, Kill the Hun, you know, the demon. And so everybody's moving and coming towards each other and moving towards the camera, but Kill the Hun doesn't move. I dilate pupils and jump through loopholes to let them know it's real. It's me, 40 Killer, the Hun. You know how it's done. Drop the mic, the wind blows, the voice domes like Roy Jones and Fight. So, if you're going to have all this forward motion and everybody's coming towards the camera, it can't just be this same static shot of coming towards the camera and coming towards the camera. You have to find ways to do that, but do it differently. So, we were looking to different movies uh, for ideas about how to create motion, but also break it up and make it as interesting as possible. The first footage we shot right, was Stu's go. Verses. Is that good and, um, well, you just have to get the exposure, right? It would be cool. Are you, we, we should come up all the way around the corner backwards. That's what we're going to do, yeah, is back up, back up, back up, back up, all the way around the corner and all the way up here to the top. And hopefully you can get through like one verse, you know, in that shot. Picture me saving the planet. You couldn't fade the twist. I would have rolled the cover and dropped the detonation switch. The way people is coming at me, all of a sudden I'd rather die harder than Bruce Willis without the button. That was good. We shot Stu's footage first, and uh, the idea with him was it came from that James Bond movie where they're running around the Eiffel Tower. A view to a kill. Up and down the stairs and around the corners and, you know, through the corridors. You know, in the old 70s movies, they always had, you know, that scene where they're like the chase through the apartment building or something like that. So it was inspired by those things. And everything between, I feel like poking your chest, provoking a mess. Put your total request on vocal arrest. This local is stress. Damon's verses were shot 
in a, an underground walkway in Lawrence. Uh, I think it was near Pinkney School. An underground walkway so that kids don't have to cross this busy street. And it worked out kind of perfectly. Again, I was trying to find, you know, or think of movies that had really kind of interesting forward motion. And so his shot was inspired by The Shining, where you have those amazing shots of Danny Torrance uh, going through the hallways of the hotel and around the corners. You would see that shot from the front and also from the back. So it was totally inspired by that. I don't know how we got the that sort of yellow uh, look, but it really sort of added to it. With DL, there was less planning. I think it was his idea to go up to that uh, spot, the high point in Topeka, the mountain. And we thought, let's just get up there and sort of see what happens. I think we got there kind of late because the sun was going down and it got dark and suddenly we had to kind of improvise. Well, Look we're going to get that. that from up there. Huh? That's going to be the shot from up there. You might want to do that first like because you're really losing it. No, because we want it to be progressively darker. So that's okay. We shot in pretty dark Just light. Just the colors are cool. So you see the, the footage getting darker and darker as we go through his stuff. And by the end of it, it was night, and that really cool-looking footage, the blue footage with the moon in the background and all that, that was really sort of an accident that happened right at the end of that shoot and was not planned at all. But it looked so cool that we ended up keeping that as the shot. Right. Keep doing it, the moon's perfect. Y'all better tell them I'll inhale them if you sick them on me. Represent only the hot rocks, sucker free. The mid best is stalking, skywalking, looking for all you whack rappers, tired of talking. Okay, Juan. Um, uh, like again and again. Yeah, and right again. into the camera. Uh, right wait. Yeah. Yeah, right now. This Y'all better it. tell them I'll inhale them if you stick them on me. Represent only the hot rocks. Sucker free. The mid best is stalking. Skywalking. Looking for all you whack rappers. Tired of talking. Fuck yeah, man. Do it again. We got this moon. This is perfect. Hang on one sec. Okay. Hit it. Y'all right better tell camera. them I'll inhale them if you stick them on me. Represent only the hot rocks. Sucker free. The mid best is stalking. Skywalking. Looking for all you whack rappers. Tired of talking. We actually didn't shoot that much footage for the video. There's not tons and tons of hours of outtakes or anything like that. Um, most of the guys we shot really quickly. Um, really just a few takes almost. Sort of find the light and try it and do it. And, and sort of like, well, the, the footage turned out okay. I mean, the only shoot that took any real time was Barry's. Uh, so we spent quite a while on that. Mostly that was just setting up, but I, we did do more takes and, and had a little bit more footage maybe to work with. And Barry was really instrumental in putting together that set with all of the wires and the microphones. And the, I think we had a black light or something like that. And he, he put a lot of things in there, I think, that were, you didn't see them in the shot, but they were kind of part of the vibe or something, you know. He had a, he had a whole thing worked out. He, he spent some time on it. It kind of worked even better that you couldn't really quite see what it all was during the shooting of it. Get it far back. Well, yeah. How about if um, we put these two on the floor right over there and I can stand up? And it can be a different angle for me standing up, rapping, and this shit will make this glow even more. It can just be a... Anybody who knows Barry knows that he's a really funny, fun guy. Loves to joke around and laugh. 
but he got he you know we got sort of kill of the hun that night he got really into character he took it you know really seriously and sort of went into a different zone you can really see that in the footage the finished video but also the raw footage you know barry was just completely gone and uh and kill of the hun was with us one sort of interesting thing that is on the tapes is that they actually played a show in the like I think it was after we went and filmed the group they they actually went and performed a show at a club in Topeka but it also shows how hard these guys were working you know here we are we're out doing a video you know and it's like hey we have to stop and go play a show I don't even know if we knew that you know but it was like that was the way things were for them or then they were performing all the time and and constantly working and you know it was just par for the course what's really evident when you watch the video is just how great each one of these guys is as a performer you know how much charisma the group had you know, everybody already knew that they were a great live band uh, but here they are in another medium and in some ways there's even more charisma even more star power they, they were really working in this new uh, arena and sort of dominating it in the same way they had with the live performances it was definitely a collaboration between everybody and and the filmmakers and and certainly everyone in the group contributed to what the video became and for that reason I'm really I'm really proud of it I think it holds up well you know hopefully it's a, a little piece of Kansas music history one of the things that helped it was the fact that it was so low budget that we didn't know what we were doing we sort of didn't know any better we didn't know what we weren't supposed to do but I, I also think that one of the things that holds up about it is that we didn't use any effects or anything that that would sort of look dated or or dated to a particular era and, and because of that it, it sort of has a timeless quality you know if you'd never heard of devious minds i think this would be a, a good place to start in some ways the tired of talking music video you know, captures you know, something about the essence of of devious minds Trying to escape from both coasts and everything between. I feel like poking your chest, provoking a mess. Put 
your total request on vocal arrest. This level is stress. Cause them cats is whack and a whack ain't good. And they just don't be flowing over the track like they should. I wish they would stop biting, start writing. Or we just wanna attack the whack and start fighting. Now what? I told you about the hits that we be doing. That's how I feel about these hip hop hits. I'm tired of talking. Now what? I told you about the hits that we be doing. I made a strip title. Now what? I told you about the hits that we be doing. That's how I feel about these hip hop hits. I'm tired of talking. We from the T. O-P-E, killer assassin When I spread the virus, I'm sending kids to school with rashes I rose from the ashes and blaze the dust And I'ma roam the streets until my microphone rusts Eyes wide open, still couldn't see me on the rooftop Making crews pop, busting my heat These my streets exhorting sucker rappers with the quickness Pull the heat and watch them shake like some baby doll strippers Cause you think you're hot, and I'ma let you know you're not Blow your spot, and send the planet into culture shock I know you made it, but don't forsake it, you overrated And we most hated, but most slated to blow the matrix what? And they know on the pause when devious act wow You have to smack your mom and give up your first child Cause we hope he like Lon Johns and ghetto techs And thermal sweaters with the moon boots and turtlenecks Hip-hop sniper, strike it like a viper Rap inferno, the mics catch fire Who wanna get wet by the vet from the Midwest? I mean the mid-best, 3 to your neck, fall to your chest We connect rhymes to hit necklines to correct spines Low enzymes, like wind chimes You better respect mine, forget next time Right now, I'm about to rock and confetti your block Non-stop, ready or not We hotter than 1,137 degrees Why you smoke blunts, we smoke mics and MCs DJs, producers, play haters and females And if you will cross the globe, then we can battle through email Y'all better tell them I'll inhale them if you sick them on me Represent only the hot rocks Sucker free, the mid best is stalking Skywalking, looking for all you whack rappers Tired of talking Now what? I told you about the hits that we be doing That's how I feel about these hip hop hits I'm tired of talk Now what? I told you about the hits that we be doing Every 1.9 seconds that we're Now what? I told you about the hits that we be doing